What we would do when we evaluate a limit numerically is we would make a table of values and plug in x values that are very, very close to the limit we want to evaluate, see if there is a trend in the outputs. The ones we were going to look at then are ones where we can't do algebra. And there was a really good example given of, I'm sorry, f of x equals sine of x over x. What is f of zero here? Undefined. We have a divide by zero problem, so I can't actually plug in f of, I can't actually plug in zero for x because, as you said, it is a divide by zero error. If you look at the graph, uh, thinking about graphs, thinking about limits in terms of graphs, zero one that was open. And that's really important to add for this to be an accurate graph. Because if we don't add that in and somebody doesn't have the formula, they would think that f of zero is equal to one. What we can do is we can investigate this numerically now by making a table of values. So I insert a table here and I'm going to make this be f of x sub one. So what's a number that I could plug in that's close to x equals zero? So when x is equal to 0 0.1, the output here is 0 0.9. 9833417. The idea of a limit here is that I'm getting even closer. Can I pick a number that's closer to zero than 0 0.1? Sure, that's closer, right? Can I pick a number that's even closer than that? But what I would want is to take numbers that are closer and closer and closer to zero and think about what the trend is. So it's not just a single value. Now we have to test it on the other side as well. So let's also do it for negative 0 0.1, negative 0 0.01. And what's important here is the change. As x approached 0, y approached 1. 